Hey, welcome to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around video. Uh, it's been requested by a viewer, and I've been thinking about doing it for a little while. So today I'm going to give you a little walk around, of buddy. Hey, you guys have to excuse the uh, the noise in the background. My shop kitty follows me around everywhere and is constantly meowing at me. So I guess I could put him in the shop to where we can't hear him. And my little pony's making some noise. So. That's just the way it is around here. But before we get into the video, I'd ask you to please hit that subscribe button down below and uh, ring that little notification bell that gives you notifications when we're putting new videos out. Uh, also go down below in the description box, you'll find some links down there and one of them is to my Teespring store uh, where you can look at my merchandise. I've got shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, some other things. So go check that out and see if there's anything you might like. My buddy's my 84 crew cab one ton that I've had for almost 19 years now. Um, he gets his name old buddy because he's been my buddy. He's been through a lot with me. Now, I do have some videos of what stuff I've done to him on the channel. You can kind of uh, be up there somewhere. Go check those out or I'll put a playlist, a link to the playlist at the end of the video or maybe down in the description box below. All right, like I said, I've had buddy for about 19 years. Uh, bought him with no bed uh, he's kind of missing on one cylinder i think he had a burn exhaust valve if i remember right he had a 454 uh, and an automatic when i got him he's now four speed uh, there's been i've got so many stories on this truck that i could probably put together a two-hour documentary but just to keep it brief i've i've had him around for a long time and i've done a lot of work to him and i still have a lot of stuff i really want to do to him now eventually i want to build a 496 stroker to put in him and take this 468 which is it's still fairly fairly stout nothing wrong with it i built it about 10 years ago but i'd like to freshen it up and put it in my my little short bed cream puff back there i think he would appreciate having a big block between his frame rails another thing i want to do to him is i need to put some 410 gears get rid of the dana 44 front end it's had a dana 44 in the front ever since i got it uh, it's never had a Dana 60. Even even back when I done all the truck pulls, I've never had any issues with the Dana 44. Uh, until recently, the last couple years, I've got some videos of of the destruction on that because currently it's welded solid on the on the inside. There's the gears I broke some spider gears and I just welded it up solid so I'd have some four wheel drive while I'm you know getting my Dana 60 ready to put in it. Right, I'm gonna hop in here. I'm gonna give you a cold start on him i do have another cold start video from last year year before i'll put a link up there maybe for that let's see if he starts it's about 35 degrees outside he doesn't have a choke on him uh just a four barrel 750 holly so he takes a little while to warm up start out with uh, checking to see what he's got underneath the hood here now, this is a 454 board 60 over so it's a 468 I've got a aluminum intake uh, comp cams 268 camshaft in it uh, it does have some dome pistons I think that it's running around nine nine and a half to one compression because it does have the big chamber 781 heads on it I ported them a little bit so roughly estimating 
uh, probably at least around 400 horse. I, it may be a little more, maybe a little less. I can't, can't imagine it being less than 400 horse, but uh, it's pretty easy to accidentally make 400 horse with the big block. But it is showing its age. Uh, <laughs> it's been in here quite a while. And it's got a few miles on it. I've run it pretty hard in the past. Uh, I do have a 6.2 diesel radiator in it, so it's a lot longer than the factory big block radiator. Uh, the factory big block radiator stopped right here. This one is this this much longer. This air cleaner is one that I fabricated, shoot, probably 20, 20 some years ago at a fab shop I was working at. It's got a K&N filter in it. I pretty much built the air cleaner around the filter. Uh, and yes, this is just dryer duct here, but it works. It's cheap and it seems to last for quite a while. Usually during the winter time, I unhook it because it does come right through here. And if you can see, it's just a straight open hole to the cold air. So during the winter time, it, it does suck a little bit too much cold air. It will freeze up my carburetor. So normally I haven't unhooked, but I haven't really drove me much this winter. So it's still hooked up. Uh, this hood is trashed. It's been trashed since I got the truck. Uh, when I got the truck, it had a big snorkel square snorkel type drag racing scoop on it and it took the it took the hood and just flopped it like that it it's in rough shape but it works i put that cal induction scoop on there just to keep water and stuff off the engine because this scoop or this air cleaner does stick up high enough to where it sticks through the hood now i have had a lot of questions about this bumper and it was built by me several years ago never finished it i uh, just threw it on the truck and called it good you can see the welds here a little rough still yet i actually want to redo all of all of the outside tubing uh, make it fit the truck a little bit better this main tube here is all one solid piece except for the ends i think it is a 5 16th or 3 8 wall it is heavy heavy walled stuff this bumper weighs a lot um, I don't know how much it actually weighs, but it's a lot. I've got trap door in here that goes, eh, that tube's in the way, but it goes clear up underneath the radiator. So I could store chains and boomers and other stuff. Most, most of that stuff's in my trailer now, but I do keep a chain in him just in case. But it is, it served its purpose. It's pretty, pretty tough. I've, haven't been able to do much to it as far as damage other than that that bottom tube which it wasn't a very heavy wall tube and i had someone hook a chain to it instead of hooking to these clevises that are right there handy they hooked it to my bottom tube and i didn't know it and started jerking on it and then realized uh it bent my bumper but oh well yeah just kind of leave it there for posterity and like i said earlier it does have a dana 44 front end i do have those shocks on there for stabilizers it it had that whenever i got it it's running i'm thinking roughly around a two inch lift i really don't know it's just some springs that i've had and just kind of threw together to get it to the height i wanted now the rear end has airbags double overloads and extra leaves in the spring pack i think i have a video of uh, the airbag setup I'll post a link up in the corner for that. Inside, just it's just a work truck. Nothing fancy. Uh, I have a tack and I have some gauges that I stuck in the basil years and years ago. Uh, it's kind of a crude setup, but it works. He's pretty rough. Pretty proud of my... This is just a serpentine belt because it... I got tired of not having a handle to pull on it. My armrest rotted off. So I just put a piece of belt up there to give me a pull strap. Uh, the back seat pretty much the same. Pretty dirty, pretty nasty. But uh, I used this truck all summer. We were hauling hay, and cutting hay. And uh, this back seat was full of tools and supplies and whatnot. Not real sure what brand this bed is. It's a factory built bed except for the headache rack. 
the headache rack is one that I built years ago for a different flatbed I had and it just it bolts on and off it works serves its purpose of course back here we've got the this is my old pulling truck hitch I just found it the other day I thought I'd lost it but I found it in a pile of stuff put it back in there makes a handy step you got my clevis or my panel hitch set up because my big trailer is a panel hitch trailer not real sure what else to say about him nothing fancy nothing special but he's just my old buddy now the future plans for buddy is for right now just to keep him usable uh, eventually like i said earlier i want to put a 496 stroker in him i've got a couple nv4500 five-speed transmissions i'd like to stick in there uh, 410 gears and not really sure change up the dana 60 in the front uh I do have another cab because this one is getting pretty rotten. I do have another cab out in the field that's got pretty much zero rust. It came from California. I've been saving it to rebuild to put back on Buddy. And when I put that cab on there, uh, I'd like to really make them really nice on the inside. Of course, carpet and redo the seats, uh, dash and all that stuff. And, and make them a real nice, uh, nice work truck. Still keep them usable. I don't want to make a... A, a show truck out even enough like that where I'm afraid to use him but uh, just just a nice paint job and nice interior where he's nice and comfortable and usable well I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around of my old buddy here and if you have any questions about this truck uh, hit me up down below in the comments now in the future I'll be going through all the rest of my trucks kind of give you an update on on where they're at and what I'm going to do with them what the plans are for them of course my plans are you know all tentative I've been planning on rebuilding this truck for the last 15 years but you can see where it's at that's the way it goes sometimes uh, but I do have several trucks several every every one of my trucks has a plan uh, it's just a matter of getting time and funds to get to those plans so we'll end it off here till next time y'all keep your square bodies rolling we'll catch you later